Hello and thanks for joining us for our class today. So I hope you enjoyed today's class. Remember, just go to whatever level suits you and we'll get started. Okay, so we're going to bring those toes apart and those heels apart to start with. Just to begin with, we're going to transfer that weight coming onto the fronts of your toes and then back onto your heel. So just gently forwards and back from here. And just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements so that weight's going nice and evenly down for your feet. If your knees are nice and soft, hands up onto your pelvis and very gently we're going to tilt those pelvis forward and then tilting it back. So just a gentle movement forwards and back and just look to find that midpoint again between those two movements so that pelvis is in a nice neutral position. That core is gently engaged, those ribs are soft, collarbones wide and that neck is nice and long and lifted so that chin is just tucked in gently from there. Fantastic. So we're going to float our hands up to shoulder height and we're going to go into our Y stretch. So breath in. As you breathe out, reach those arms up and out in that Y shape and lower back down. Good, breath in. As you breathe out, reaching away and lower back down. Good, breath in. As you breathe out, reach those arms away and lower down. Now make sure you're not letting those ribs flare. Keep them soft as you're opening out and lowering down. Okay, so we're going to add in our heels now. So breath in. As you breathe out, reach up, opening out and lower down. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, reaching up, opening out, and down. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, reaching up, and down. And again, lift up through, onto those toes. Good, reaching up, and down. Now this time, we're gonna reach up, come up on those toes, just lower halfway down, and push back up. Good, halfway down, and push back up. Good, halfway down, lovely, and push back up. And halfway down, push back up on those toes, lovely. One last time, halfway down, and push back up, lovely. Lower those feet down, and lower those arms down. Well done, and relax those shoulders. Okay, so from here, we're going to go into our toy soldier movement. So we're going to float those hands back to that shoulder height. And we're just going to start by raising one hand up to the ceiling, and then lower back down. Opposite arm lifted, and lower down. And again, raising your arm, and lower down. Opposite arm lifted and lower down. Good. Opposite arm lifted and lower down. Good. Well done. Opposite arm and lower. Well done. Now we're going to add in a bit of coordination and raise our opposite heel. So opposite heel raised and then we're going to switch. So it's just that kind of toy soldier motion that we're doing. So opposite arm, opposite heel raised. Good. Keeping that core engaged, those ribs staying soft as you raise your arm, not letting them flare up. Keeping that control as so we're switching sides from here. Good. Alternating sides. Well done. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Nice and control. Well done. A few more here. Lovely. Good. Keep going. Last few. Lovely. Let's do one more each side. And then just float those arms back down. Well done. And just relax those shoulders. Okay. So we're going to just turn our core look a bit with a one leg circle and standing. So that leg you're going to stand on is going to work really hard to support you. That pelvis staying nice and level, that core engaged. And we're just going to start by bringing one leg around in that circle like this. Now, either hover with your foot above the, above the floor, or if that feels too much, just circle that toe pointing on the floor there. So coming around, this leg you're standing on working hard, not locked back at that knee, nice and soft. Keeping up nice and tall, circling that leg around. Well done. Still breathing in and out. And let's change direction, opposite way around. Well done. Good. And one last circle. Back to that centre and lower back down. Very good. Okay, we're going to do the same on the other side. So that core's engaged, that leg you're standing on, remember, is working really hard. So that knee just slightly soft, and we're going to come around in a circle. Remember, if that feels too much, just point those toes on the ground. But if you can, we're going to flex the foot above and keeping that circle. Now, that circle's just as big as you can control. Keep that core engaged, keep up nice and tall, well done. Coming around and back, good. Still breathing in and out as we're circling around with that leg, good. Now let's change direction, opposite way round, well done, keep
keeping that control. Well done. And last one. And then back to that center and lower that leg back down. Well done. Okay, so we're going to stretch through our sides now. So those feet still about hip resistance apart. Knees nice and soft. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, we're going to drop one hand down. Reach that opposite arm up to the ceiling if you can. Look up to your head. Breath in. And as you breathe out, slowly back to that center. Good. Breath in. As you breathe out, drop that arm down. Reaching up towards the ceiling. Look with that head if you can. Breath in. And as you breathe out, slowly back to that center. Good. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, drop that down. Reaching up. Breath in here. And as you breathe out, coming back down. Lovely. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, drop down. Reaching up to the ceiling. Breath in here. And as you breathe out, back to that center. Let's do one more each side. So breath in. As you breathe out, drop down. Reach up to the ceiling. Breath in. And as you breathe out, coming back down to that center. Good. Last time. Reaching up. Looking up to the ceiling. Breath in. And as you breathe out, back down and back to the start. Well done. I'm relaxing down. So we do a few roll downs. We're going to come to the end of my mat. So we're going to stand here. Those ribs um, soft, those knees soft as well. We're going to take a breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down. Roll those hands slowly down towards the floor. Breath in here. As you breathe out, slowly restacking back up into standing. Good. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down. Curl down through that spine, rolling down towards the floor. Breath in here. As you breathe out, gently restacking back up into standing. Good. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down. Rolling those hands down towards the floor. Breath in the end here. And as you breathe out, slowly restacking into standing. Good. We're going to do one more here. We're going to come down into four point kneeling. So breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down. Rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor. Breath in here. As you breathe out, just sink down that little bit further. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, sinking down. Just soften those knees. And then we're going to walk our hands slowly down into a four point kneeling position. And we're going to continue our class from here. Okay, so we've come down into four point kneeling. So from here, make sure those knees are underneath those hips, those hands are underneath the shoulders. If you find it a little bit difficult on your hand, you can come up onto a fist if that feels a little bit more comfortable. Those elbows should be nice and soft, so the insides of the elbows should be facing each other. And we're just going to gently, let's just mobilise our spines here with a little gentle cat stretch. We'll just do a couple. So we're just going to tuck that head under, arch that back up, flexing through the spine, then dropping that back down, looking forwards and extending that back. So just gently, we'll just do a few here, arching up, tucking under, dropping down, looking up. So just gently moving through that spine, flexing, extending from here. Good. And let's just do one more, flexing that spine up, dropping down, extending through. Just find that midpoint between those two movements, so that back should be nice and flat. That core is gently engaged. If you need to, just remember, just tuck that pelvis under, so we're still making sure we're in that neutral spine position. Okay, so we're going to work our core and our glutes a little bit in, into a leg pull and prone. So we're going to tuck those toes under. Now, just to start, we want you to take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, we're just going to lift up just those knees, just an inch or so off the mat. And then as we breathe out, lower back down. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, lift up, breath in here. As you breathe out, lower down. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, lift up, breath in. As you breathe out, just lower. Good, so again, breath in here. As you breathe out, lift up, breath in. And on the out breath, lower back down. So you don't need to go very high. It does change that movement. So make sure you're just going just that inch or so off the ground. It shouldn't be a really big lift. Okay. Keep that pelvis in neutral, that core engaged. Breath in. As you breathe out, lift up and lower. So if that's feeling comfortable, we're going to bring our hand, another hand and a half in front. Okay. Now I want you to imagine you've got a box underneath you. We can't go through the box, we can only go over it. So we're going to still lift up through the knee. So I've lifted over my box and then I'm going to come forwards and then back. 
and lower. Okay, so again, we lift up. I'm going over my box, shooting forwards, breath in. And as you breathe out, controlling, lowering back down. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, lifting up, reaching forwards, coming over my shoulders now, over those hands, and then coming back and lowering. Good, and again, as you lift up, reaching forwards, breath in. As you breathe out, controlling, lower back down. Well done. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, lift up, reach forwards. Good, keeping that neck nice and long. Try not to look at your feet if you can. Okay, and again, lift up, reach forwards. And then lowering down. Good. And again, lift up, reach forwards. Good. And then lowering down. Fantastic. Now on this next one, we're going to add a little bit of a leg lift. So we're going to lift up, reach forward. Now keep here if you can. And we're going to do four, three, two, and one. And then we're going to lower down and back to that start. Very good. We'll do that one more time. Breath in. As you breathe out, lift up, come forwards. And four, three, two, and one. And then reaching, lowering, back down. Very good. Let's drop off those hands and drop down into that child pose stretch. So breathing in and out here. On that out breath, if you can, sink down into that stretch a little bit further. Breathing in and out, relaxing down a little bit more. Good breath in. And as you breathe out, relaxing down into that stretch. Good breath in. And as you breathe out, relaxing down just that little bit further. Very good. Lovely, and then we're just gonna slowly walk our hands up into kneeling, very good. Okay, so let's come down onto our backs just to work into our hips and our core a little bit more. So we're gonna come down onto our backs from here. Okay, so let's start with, as we normally do, just finding our neutral position. So those feet and knees that hip width distance apart. Just to begin with, we're gonna tilt that pelvis forwards and back, just looking to find that neutral position that core is in a nice neutral spine from here. Remember, if you're not sure about this, you can see our website for a little bit more detail on that. That core's engaged, those ribs should be soft, so really thinking about keeping that distance between the ribs and those hip bones the same. We're not letting those ribs flare, they're staying soft from here. My collarbones are wide, that neck is nice and long and lifted, and that chin's just gently tucked in. Okay, so we're gonna start with our sort of arm scissors movement. So I really want you to focus on thinking about what's happening between the ribs and those hip bones, not letting those ribs flare, keeping that control. So we're gonna float our hands up to the ceiling, and then I just want you to reach one hand back over your head, and then back to that start. And again, so we're alternating sides, but we're not necessarily trying to touch the floor behind you. We're really focusing on keeping that control and not letting those ribs flare, as you reach the arm back each side. So make sure you're not lifting that upper back, although letting those ribs flare. So really keeping that connection between the ribs and those hip bones the same. So that's really staying anchored down. And my pelvis is staying in that neutral spine position. Good. So it's just really centering that position as we opposite arm, opposite leg from here. Good. So keeping that control, well done. Just do a few more here, just moving through those arm movements, very good. Lovely, one more each side. And then just float those arms back down, very good, to that start. Okay, so that core staying engaged, we're gonna float one leg and then the opposite leg up into that tabletop position from here. Keeping that core engaged, that distance again, really focusing today on that distance between the hip bones and those ribs the same, keeping that center. So we're gonna reach one leg to that opposite wall and alternate sides. So reaching that leg in that diagonal to that opposite wall each side. Good, so reaching away, controlling that movement, you're reaching each side away. Very good. Keeping that control as you're reaching the leg, well done. Each side from here. Excellent. Now breathing out as you're reaching that leg, 
keeping that control, making sure as you stretch the leg, you're not letting that back up to that tummy down. We're keeping that control as we lengthen that leg away. Good. Well done. Keeping that control as we lengthen each side and back. Very good. Just do a few more here, lengthening that leg. Well done. Really making sure we're not lost that neutral spine position and that back's still staying in that neutral spine and that tummy staying nice and flat, okay? My ribs still staying soft and that connection between those ribs and the hip bones is still the same. Good, so we're just gonna stick here, just a few more today. So reaching that leg and back, reaching that leg and then back. Well done. Keeping that control as you're reaching each leg one at a time, away from here. Good, reaching that leg and back. Well done. Now we're gonna come back to that start, keeping in that double tabletop if you can. Now from here, we can either stick with that leg movement, reaching away just as we've just done, or if you can, we're gonna come up into that little bit of abdo prep. Pop our hands, so one hand down by your side, opposite fingers pointing away, and we're gonna reach that leg, the opposite leg away, and then we're gonna switch. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster, so more like two movements each side, for my breath in and out, and out. So maintaining that little bit of abdo prep, if you can, reaching each side. So if this feels a little bit too much, you can lower that head down as you need to. We'll come back to just that double tabletop stretching the leg. But if you can, we're making that a little bit quicker. Good. Stretching that leg, reaching away, changing that hand position each side. Well done. Make sure you're not holding that breath. And we're doing about two cycles each side on each in and out breath. Well done. Let's do one more each side. And then come back to that center, lower that head back down and lower those legs one at a time. Very good, let's bring those knees and have a quick hug and just stretch out that back. Well done. Very good, so a little bit of abdo prep there as well, working that endurance of those abdominals a little bit today. Good. Okay, so let's just lower those legs back down one at a time and come back to that start. So making sure we're still in that neutral spine position, that pelvis is engaged, arms relaxed down by your side. We're gonna go into a one leg circle from here. So we're gonna raise one leg up into single tabletop. Now we can either keep that knee bent and imagine you've got a pencil on the end of the knee and we're circling round from that hip and I'm drawing that circle on the ceiling with the knee. If that feels okay, we can then straighten the leg and we'll do the same, but this time I'm drawing with my toes that circle on the ceiling. So it's up to you, keeping the knee bent or straight, but all the while, either way, that the hip is controlling that movement making sure the leg that's on the floor is really staying anchored down. So if you need to, just push through that heel slightly. So I'm really keeping the control around my pelvis, those hip bones staying up towards the ceiling as I'm really roll, rotating around through that hip. That circle can be as big as you can control it, okay? If you go too big and you feel you're really wobbling around through that pelvis, you just need to make that circle a little bit smaller. Good, controlling that movement around. Keeping that control, well done. Coming around from here, good. All right, let's change direction. Opposite direction with that hip, keeping that control, drawing that circle on the ceiling. If it's turned into a bit of an oblong, we just keep that leg moving, that's a good. Try and keep that circular shape, nice smooth movement if you can, well done. Breathing in and out, upper body nice and relaxed as I'm moving through this movement, good. Well done. Lovely. Let's do one more circle around here. Bring that leg back to that center. Lower the leg down and back to the start. Very good. Okay, we'll do the same on the other side. So opposite leg up into that tabletop. Imagine you've either got that pencil on the end of your knee or your pencil's on the end of those toes. So either way, we're circling around from that hip and that's where I'm controlling that movement. This leg is staying nice and stable. So if you need to just push through that heel a little bit, keep that leg nice and stable and it shouldn't be moving in sympathy with you, keeping that control. So really drawing that circle on the ceiling, but that movement's all coming from that hip. 
And remember, your circle can be as big as feel you feel you can control that movement, okay? So keeping that control, circling around from there. Good. Really controlling that movement around. Well done. Breathing in and out as you're controlling that circle around. Very good. Okay, let's change direction. Opposite direction, still drawing that circle on the ceiling, either with that pencil on the end of your knee or with those toes. Keeping going here. Last view, controlling that circling around. Well done. Moving through, well done. Keeping that control. So I'm circling through that leg. Lovely, last couple here. Let's do one last one. Back to that star, lower that leg, and back to that center. Well done. Okay, so let's stretch out our backs into that rotation movement. So arms down by your side or out to the side of you. We're gonna drop those knees over to one side. Turn your head to the opposite side if you can. Use those toe muscles to bring those knees back up to that center, and then over to that opposite side. Again, so using those toe muscles, bring those knees back up to the center, and then over to that opposite side. Good. And again, using these toe muscles, bring the knees back up and then over to that opposite side. So we're just rotating that lower back each side, opening out through the spine, really enjoying that stretch as you drop those knees over. As you come over to the other side, really feel anchoring down through those ribs just to bring those knees back up to that center. Well done. Let's do a few more here. Just opening up through that spine, turning that head just to really stretch and rotate a little bit further if you can. Dropping the knees over, using the toe muscles, coming back to that center, <clears throat> and then dropping over to that opposite side. Well done. And again, dropping the knees over, using that tummy, coming back up, and then over to that opposite side. Well done. All right, let's just do one more each side here, dropping the knees over. Using the toe muscles, bring the knees back up and over to that opposite side. Good, and then coming back to that center and those arms relax down by your side from here. Very good. Okay, so let's come round and we're going to come up into our seated position from here. And we're just going to do a few stretches to finish off in sitting. So let's just stretch our glutes a little bit that we've worked. So we're going to put one leg in front of us and the opposite leg over that thigh. We can just use our hand just to support this leg and we're just gonna rotate around to that side you're holding, just to where you feel that stretch into your bottom there. So you're just rotating, holding that stretch. Now, I'm just gonna breathe in and out here. As we're holding this stretch, just relax down into it. If you can, you can rotate that a little bit further, bring that leg in towards you, holding that there. Breath in and out. And again, breath in and out. Good. And one more breath in and out here. And then just bring that body back to the center. We're gonna uncross that leg and we do the same on the opposite side. So opposite leg over across. Using that hand, we're gonna rotate through and just rotating through that upper body just to where you feel that stretch down into those glutes there. We're gonna hold this stretch here, breathing in and out. On that out breath, just sinking around into that stretch a little bit further if you can. That's it, good breath in and out. And again, breath in and out, just relaxing through that upper body. Well done, last few seconds here. Just stretching through those glutes, well done. Breathing in and out. And one more breath in and out here. And then just coming back round and then opening out those legs again. Okay, so we're gonna bring those legs in. If you can, have them crossed or just slightly out in front of you, that's fine. And we're just going to come up nice and tall. And we're going to do a little spine twist just to rotate through our upper bodies. So we're going to bring our hands up to this sort of Cossack position. So that chin's just tucked in. My neck is nice and long, so I've really stacked through my spine. Take a breath in here. As you breathe out, we're going to turn that body around to one side. Breath in. And as you breathe out, coming back to that center. Good. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, rotating through that upper body, breath in, and as you breathe out, coming back round to that center, good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, rotating around, breath in here, and as you breathe out, 
back to that center. Good, and again, breath in. And as you breathe out, rotating through that upper spine, breath in. And as you breathe out, back to that center. Good, last couple, breath in. As you breathe out, rotating through that spine, breath in. And as you breathe out, back to that center. And again, the opposite side, rotating round, just twisting through that spine, and then back to that center. Good, one more each side, breath in. As you breathe out, rotating around, breath in. As you breathe out, back to that center, lovely. One last time, rotating around, breath in. And as you breathe out, coming back to that center and relax those arms back down. Good, just relaxing here, lovely. Okay, so we're just gonna stretch through our arms. So you can take a breath in. As you breathe out, we're just gonna reach those arms up and out in that Y shape, breath in. And out, back down, good, breath in. And reaching those arms up and out, and then back down. Good, and again, breath in. Opening out, and down. Good, now this time we're gonna breath in. As you breathe out, reach those arms up, and we're gonna bring them nice and wide and around, and then back to that center. Good, and again, reaching up, opening out wide, and then coming round and back to the center. Good, and again, reach up, opening out wide, and then coming round and back to the center. One last time, reaching up. Open those hands out nice and wide, coming round, and then back to that center, and float those arms back down, and just relax those shoulders. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us for the class today. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.